my emotions, along with my physical self, were all over the place in July. My family and I moved out of our home into a new home. The cats weren't having it. <laughs> I did my first proper magazine photo shoot. Way more glamorous than moving house. And then I went to Pride to celebrate my sexuality. And then I ended the long distance part of my relationship with the love of my life. Like, we're never going to be apart for long again. And <laughs> now we're adjusting to normal life, like shopping and cohabiting on days when I have a bad mental health day, which did happen. And this whole new world began in this vlog that you are about to watch. Uh, she's a longie, so get cuddled in, hit the thumbs up button and enjoy July. Good morning and welcome back to the Fix My Digestion train. Um, I'm gonna have my hot water with lemon and then I'm gonna let that digest and then I'm gonna get, so I have kefir here which I'm just gonna drink like before I eat anything because this is meant to be unreal for digestion and then I have Greek style organic luxury natural yogurt which I'm going to top with some walnuts, some raspberries, some pineapple chunks and yeah. And that's what it looks like all prepared. Guess who's moving house soon? Guess who's moving house soon? I don't know how many of you know this or how long you've been following, but Bilbo is a rescue cat and he's so um, jumpy and he's got a lot of trust issues and stuff. So I feel really good about myself when he's this relaxed around me. Cause um, even, even with all of us, like he does tend to jolt. Bilbo and his siblings were found in a bush when they were only a few weeks old. We're on our way to see our new house. We have the keys. Dad just went and got the keys a little while ago. Woo Where we are currently, we've been renting for about three years. I moved back home after my last big breakup and kind of just ended up staying there because I travel all the time. And um, yeah, my brother and I want to, to get a house together. So I'll be on the property ladder and we'll have a family den, but house prices in Ireland are mad absolutely mad even like in the village where we are it's so hard to even find anywhere to rent and um, that's not extortionate we own a property but it's in a, another village that we don't want to live in we just haven't sold it yet yeah and um, we want to stay here because all of our friends and family live here and thomas is from here and all his family live here as well the new house obviously will need an awful lot done to it but i just want to show it to you so i can kind of look back and see the progress after we fill it with furniture give it a bit of a paint job and all that kind of good stuff there's a gorgeous view from here but I can't show you obviously because then people will know where I bloody live oh my god lilac walls yeah I definitely want to put pictures on like after we paint it put pictures I'll print them out and get frames that's really cute I feel like a little cat house under there would be kind of cute as well cat house is out the back yeah but a little extra one no. <laughs> little island little kitchen little table little garden Oh, there's some lovely lemon flowers in the back garden as well. Cute. I love cozy little family houses like this. Little fireplace. No. So there's like three bedrooms. It's like, but the problem actually is there's no there's no bath, guys. Look, it's only a shower. So Thomas told me I can go to his family home to have baths, which was very sweet. I think this is gonna be my room. Pink carpet, lovely and spacious. There's plenty of storage space as you can see. And my dad will now have a double bed because my poor dad, he gave us the bigger rooms in the house where we are and he took the box room. He's such a selfless man. I love my dad. Thanks for letting me have the biggest room, dad. Yeah, right, when you better buy me a mansion. This is the new house stance. So yeah, what day will we go furniture shopping on? We have to go... Do you have to do it on tomorrow? If you got a bus down to the factory and I could go up to Harvey and Armour, would you? Tomorrow? I have a lot of so stuff to do today. tomorrow. I'll make out a little plan tonight. Um, I'm gonna get a new bed and just try and make my room look really, really nice. And Because it's my office as well. I work from home on my bed, so... Doing a bit of shopping with this one before I go to the gym. Got my toilet roll here for, for my butt. For wiping your arms. <laughs> Stocking up on healthy food. Healthy things. I'll have to show you my little food diary thing I've been keeping since I saw my friend the health coach last month at the end of the month. I feel so much better already. Definitely the best chocolate this one. The dark mint by Green and Blacks. The hottest 
day of the year in Ireland today and the idea of going into this gym to work out instead of being out in this sun is making me want to cry. I'm craving a workout though so bad and the next few days are going to be a lot of packing, a lot of writing, a lot of moving, a lot of painting. Cue montages. Today we're on the hunt for a bed, a coffee table, uh, lamps, uh, things, pillows, stuff. get over that and keep my new room in order because oh unpacking that bedroom it's so it's so bad it's so bad have my list have my teeny tiny pencil I'd love to do something like that in the sitting room like print off a load of photos whoa some sexy drawers I can't wait till I get my forever home where I'm actually going to stay when I'm buying a house and I can do get much fancier things. We have chosen this bookshelf for all of our DVDs and books because there's so many and we need extra storage but I really love the look of those two lights so I want to try and find them in the market hall as well because they don't they fool you with this because they're not attached. I am also getting one of these shelves to put all of like my favorite books and favorite DVDs and stuff on and some uh, decorations. I'm getting myself this lovely chair for my dressing table where I'll probably do a lot of writing and stuff like that. If I was a kid in here right now I would be living my best life. I can't wait to have kids. Bring them shopping for little beds. Cute little duvets. I'm low-key having a meltdown. There's too much options. I just fucking hate my kids. <laughs> Dad's not having a good time. <laughs> that kid crying, I relate. Oh. I want a G&T so hard that kid's voice is going through my brain. I don't get IKEA. I don't I don't get all the IKEA love. It's like the biggest stress ever it terrifies me every time i go in i'm like Ugh. guys we're in a shop called home focus now and this throw is so pretty it has these little jewels on it and i think i'm definitely going to get this for the end of my bed i think it will go with the bed frame this is very very squidgy as well so i think i'll add a pop of color to the room with this lovely little fuchsia pillow This brave man in the car doesn't need a, a thing, does he? This lady ain't having it. It's okay, kitty. You going to your new house? He's grand. I think he should be in the he's, cage. He's, he hates being in that. Yeah, he can't stand being in the cage. Money. Money, where are we going? I don't you sick. <laughs> Bill <Bilbo. laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no. probably associates oh, well. it with the men. No, when we moved from Bad Burgan to Scaries, he was terrified. You hiding your face? <laughs> you hiding your face, Bilbo? Oh. Bilbo. Now she's fine. Are you okay? Oh. Look at her. Oh. Why is she doing that? Is she too warm? Dad, can you put on the aircon? Molly, it's only a five minute drive. <laughs> You've been in the car 60 seconds. Molly, she's doing, she's panting with her tongue. You're such a good boy, Bilbo. Bilbo, guess what? We're not supposed to let you inside, but you know what? We're gonna let we're gonna let you stay inside 
because you're gonna be good, aren't you? And you're not gonna scratch things. <laughs> you need to impress Mr. Landlord. That's just dad. That's just dad. Come here. Come here. They did this when we knew it was scary as well, I don't remember. Yeah. Come on. Bilbo. Oh, the camera's behind your head. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Bilbo. Bilbo. Do you want the familiar sound of Sky News? <laughs> this is how you get settled in in a new house. My first breakfast in the new house. I'm having some Greek yogurt and some raspberries and some cashews. Is this boy getting settled in? Look at that little tail wagon. Who's a happy boy? I sat on this glorious couch last night because I won't have my um, mattress till today. The unpacking is going well, but my head is melted being in that house and emptying boxes. So I've thrown on some clothes. I have a little belt on here cinching in a jumper dress kind of thing and I'm going to test out this new phone. I got sent this out for a spawn right it is a who are you who are you <laughs> I'll put it on screen but um apparently this has an unbelievable camera and the brand challenged me now this isn't sponsored or anything like that I'm just letting you know because it's an Instagram thing they want me to test this camera and like uh, recreate a picture that I've uploaded before that I really like and there's a lot of things I've taken pictures of around Scaries that I'm going to go now and do a little photo shoot of my little village with this camera. Ikea furniture just arrived, but look. Dun, 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 dun. We're off to say goodbye to the house. Um, I've had my hair done, I felt manky. So I was like, nah, today I'm taking a bit of a break and I'm going to prettify myself a little bit. I felt like a bin, I just felt <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> yeah, we're saying goodbye to the house, I'm so sad. Daddy, are you sad or are you excited? I already love the new place more. And there'll be more memories made there, so I have to get over my bloody nostalgia. I'm so nostalgic with stuff like this. I don't like big changes very much. Um, oh, what's happening there? Hey, little guy. <laughs> There's a grief that can't be spoken. There's a pain goes on and on. Empty chairs and empty tables. <laughs> Where my friends are dead and gone Phantom faces and the window So many brilliant things happened here. This is sad. You call my name and I turn around You pick me up in front of a crowd Came from How do you like my new bed? Is it cozy? It's amazing. Yeah, is it really, yeah, really it's comfy? Giving me a, it's giving me an idea. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Baby! Oh, how many more days? Today is what day? Tuesday? Today's Tuesday, yeah. So we have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 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 and then we have Saturday, and then we have. Yeah. Then I'm going to be with you. And then we're never gonna be apart ever again. I know. It's weird. We're not in a, it won't be an LDR anymore. It'll just be an R. It'll just be a relationship. Oh my god. Look at us, we're so normal. We're <laughs> gonna stop. We're gonna watch a movie. Yeah, we're gonna go around and get some bread. <laughs> Look at us go. The time comes when we're like, okay, we need to be apart. I'll be like, I'll see you in like an hour, okay? <laughs> Hi, my face is oily as fuck because it's drenched in night oil. But uh, what's what's all this then? What, what's all this then? Who's been a busy girl? Who's who's going away? I'll get to that in a second. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna give a proper room tour when I'm back and it's fully decorated. Still just got stuff kind of all about the place. But this is glorious. My Freddie Mercury picture, which I got on Amazon. And uh, yeah, I'll go through all of my, these are all of the specials that I need to have on display in my room. Gorgeous bed, gorgeous blankie, 
gorgeous amount of space compared to my last room and uh, yeah today i got a little manicure and um had my eyebrows threaded for the first time which was a strange experience it was so quick and quite sore like compared to waxing i just moved in just got comfortable and i'm going away for two months two months probably be my longest time away from home since i moved to la stupidly um a couple of years ago i so badly wanted to get settled in here before i left and Today I was doing really normal things like going through all of my receipts to do for my tax return for my company. My brother and I went to the gym and I've been just packing and just making food and oh it's so shit that I have to, like I'm excited about going away but also like I just want to enjoy the house now and decorate and put up lights and film videos in this room and I'm not going to get to do that until September really. The main reason I'll be away for two months is because I'll be staying with Thomas until he's finished his course so then we can both come back to Scaries together because the two of us are just so done with long distance. It's too hard now. We survived a year of it but I, we just can't do anymore. First I'm going over to London to do my cover photo shoot for Blogosphere magazine because you know the way I won that award last month which still blows my mind but I'm going to be their next cover person and they've had Casey Neistat on the cover, they've had Zoella on the cover, they've had amazing people on the cover of their magazine and I'm so honoured and humbled to be getting to do that. The day after the photo shoot I have Pride, London Pride, um, which I went to last year and I absolutely loved but I didn't film anything and this year I'll try and make an effort to vlog quite a bit of it. I got such a gorgeous outfit to wear a Pride, I'm so excited. It's gonna get all gay up in here for a bit, I <laughs> hope you're okay with that. If you're not okay with the gay, I don't know why you're watching me but Anyway, <laughs> I did a competition to meet with a viewer at Pride who I'll be having breakfast with and spending a lot of the day with um, through Barclays as well. Oh, so busy. I'm so behind on writing. I'm losing my mind. I've been trying kind of with this whole move and stuff. I've been trying to write and every time I sit down to do it, um, I usually need to warm into it before anything good starts coming out. And then I always get interrupted by other things I have to do because I'm trying to do too many but yeah then I'm gonna have two amazing months in Spain with Thomas in our little den and oh I want to make a lot of memories during this last stay this is our last time reuniting after a gap apart oh god time is going by so fast and I wanted to slow the fuck down anyway this girl has to sleep I'm getting up at half four in the morning for a taxi to the airport at five. I can't sleep. I'm really, really gonna miss my family and my cats. Like I won't see my sister for so long. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do two months away. <laughs> you love it how I move. You, you love it how I turn. So I have some fake freckles on. How cute are they? This is the lovely lady that did my makeup. Hi. She's wonderful. Look at it. I wish I could do this myself. Can in my arse make myself look this good. So we're going to be doing kind of a little bit of tasteful nudity. I think if it works out, we'll see. This is from River Island. It's like a long kind of white play suit and then I have this is by Caroline Flack and um, from River Island so it's like kind of silky looks very jungly our theme is romance in the jungle and that has like a top part as well I don't want to ruin it and then this is from a charity shop look at them sweat patches so sexy <laughs> we're just ordering some lunch now and um, I asked them I was the awkward person again I said can I have something that's not got any gluten in it <laughs> for my tummy um I got porridge in the airport hours ago because I got up so early today but I'm starving I'm just sorry I'm just distracted by this wardrobe look how cool that is I love all the peely paint I love I just love old furniture like that this is a gorgeous Airbnb where we're shooting by the way see so yeah, it's got really cute little furniture it's gorgeous I look naked, but I'm not. I like, not. I like this. This is uh, the lady who came up with the concept Hi. for the pictures. So I've been stood like this for a good, good 20 minutes. Uh, do, you, do you want to see our, our, our prop friends? Hi. <laughs> so they're all holding leaves. I look so um, majestical. That's not a word I know, but 
oh, now. It, it's very it's majestical on my camera. <laughs> <laughs> that thing from SpongeBob, you know, where it's like five hours later. <laughs> I want real freckles. It's I can't so say goodbye to these freckles. Aww. They look so cute. It's like Bambi on my face. <laughs> yeah, and I can be all the things you told me not to be. Yeah, yeah. there's kind of like a shadow. It's like hell. Yeah. <laughs> Someone stands over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to hide my nipples until the shot. <laughs> so now I have less eye makeup. Well, less like intense eye makeup, but more freckles. And I've glycerin on my chest, so I look <laughs> nice and sweaty. Beautiful. And we're gonna try and get the cover shot now. Um, with more, more leaves and leave friends. <laughs> and, and more leave friends. Yeah, more leaves. <laughs> um, I feel so weird. They were just joking, like it's like being Beyonce. Imagine being someone who does this all day, every day. Everyone's just kind of like spraying you and making you pretty. Be great. I just, I want to go. I actually think I'll wear this out. Yes, I love it. Great. I thought you would wear go it out. I think I will. Yeah, I'm a tree. Literally, this is what all of my photo shoots are like. <laughs> just like but it looks great in the end. Like, you're yeah. just like literally walking through the jungle and happen to take a decent shot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice and candid. Yeah. Water me. I'm blue. I'm back with Sarah again. Hello. Um, we're sharing a hotel room tonight and we are about to go. go wow, wow. Am I right? Wow. That shoot was around eight hours long. Callum is bringing us for dinner. Thanks, Callum. Why aren't you turned on? You don't turn me on right now. Go on, get hard on. Show me your leg. <laughs> We were just cheering on our Uber driver in the middle of the street. Go on, Go on Isaac. Isaac! Isaac has been taking quite a long time. A very long time. He told us he would be seven minutes, then he took longer. Then it was five minutes, about ten minutes later. Yeah. Oh, that was a flight, that was a flight. Are you, you, I was just whispering secrets. Did you get that on camera? <laughs> I swear to God that I'm You know that listen to me, everyone in. Okay. And then what do you do is pull out. One, two, three. <laughs> Education. A, a boomerang. Yeah. Ha I've heard something. Wait, wait, you have to do it backwards. I need a picture. Oh, 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 a you never get a drink piece. <laughs> yeah, I'm thirsty. Typical Irish. I just want a drink. <laughs> Morning's here. Sunshine is here. <laughs> and we are queer. <laughs> and we dressed really nice. <laughs> and it's so early. Uh, um, get off me fucking skirt. <laughs> That song's from Friends, for those of you yeah. who remember that episode. Morning's here. Breakfast is near. Oh, I can't wait for breakfast. breakfast. Good morning with a white wing. Look how cute Sarah's t-shirt is. I designed it myself. She designed it herself. This is where we are having our breakfast. Look how cute. Look at that! Literally don't know what I'm doing. Using this as a mirror. Yeah, but wait till you're in the sun. Oh wow, look at the amount of people. more than I've ever been buzzing. <laughs> I woke up really early, I left Sarah, got to the airport, got myself some porridge, got flight one and I'm about to board flight number two. Um, and this is the last time I am ever gonna have to travel to see Thomas in my life ever again. I've had multiple little cries today. I can't believe it's happening because I was so against this 
the beginning, when we started dating, I was just so scared to commit to a long distance thing. I was actually really against it. Anytime anyone would ask me my opinions on long distance, I was always like, why bother? Why waste time? We only have one life. If you find your person, you cannot let them go. Um, and it, it's been so worth it. I'm so happy right now. I just needed to capture this. Um, I want to remember this feeling forever. I don't think... It's like being a kid before Christmas, except times a million. I haven't seen him in about a month now. Um, this has been our longest gap for quite a while. And yeah, we did a full year. We survived a full year of long distance. I think the last thing I vlogged was me running towards you at the airport. Oh. I was running toward him at the airport and I just stopped vlogging. And yeah, and I haven't vlogged for a week. <laughs> I took a week off. Um, mm -hmm. Cause we're adjusting to living together for, for forever. <laughs> um, so time. we, we bought some Harry Potter bedding so I can get all settled in. It's a secret. No, it's not a secret. They're gonna see it. <laughs> we are bringing news for our food shopping today because we always have a lot of fun in El Campo. El so exciting. El Campo's like, it is exciting. My favorite thing to do in the whole world is food shopping. I know that's really sad, but like, it's true. I don't like any other kind of shopping. I love, love getting food. I think I've snogged on that. I'm not gonna include that. <laughs> <laughs> no, what do you do? <laughs> oh no, I've destroyed my baggy trousers. Your baggy trousers. Thomas hates these trousers. I don't hate them, they're just baggy, baggy trousers. trousers. Baggy, baggy trousers. Um, <laughs> and we have been actually going to the gym every second day. Today's a gym day as well, so shopping and gym. Let's do this. Right. What are they down there? Yeah, what are you guys doing down there? First things first, we need to get ourselves a pet plant. What if we get a few little like cactuses and call it Keith 1, Keith 2, Keith 3, Keith 4. get 3 and call them Keith, Simon and John. Oh. Hey guys. We'll call them Keith, Simon and John after our friends. I think that's a good idea. What about, ow! <laughs> I don't want a plant, I want a fish. Look! He's so cute! Oh, can we please get him? No. Why? Because you won't be able to bring him home. <laughs> Oh, so this, so this will be Keith. Keith, and then this is gonna be Bowser. So uh, check that out. I touched it, and it's really sharp. But oh, Bowser, you're so beautiful and luscious. Yeah, Daddy. <laughs> it's moments like this when the torture kicks in because I have been fine without gluten and stuff like that. And then Thomas loves to order garlic bread, my favorite. And then he describes it. He describes it to me. Yeah, I would. So I can enjoy it. it. <laughs> no, it doesn't. I like. No, it it doesn't bother me. It just pains me to not be able to eat it. <laughs> Risotto for me, and I'm very happy with this. I can have my rice, my chicken. No, stop saying we need to get everything that we see. No. <laughs> you, you also want that pool, do you? Do you want that couch? Yeah. For what? If you didn't see last month's vlog, you're not going to understand why I am avoiding certain things on the low fat map diet. Essentially, it has to do with this tome. Um, oh. I felt your presence, literally just felt it. I got some but, dark chalk. Oh, dark chalk. And I got some yeah. dark chalk mint in Oh, this goes on to what I was trying to say. I was trying to explain, I don't really want to have like gluten-free versions of gluten food. I wanna just try and have things that are naturally gluten-free. Like I'm having a like dark chocolate and olives and rice cakes and um what else have I been liking? Nuts, dried fruit, real fruit, yogurt rice cakes. Yogurt rice cakes. Yeah. And we've got eggs and bananas. You guys seen the video of the little girl and she says snacks like this. Snacks. Snacks. Mm, snacks. 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 Here's all the dairy free milks. Sin lactose. I like this chocolate oat milk for my porridge. There. 
I'm picking up one of these little concealers. I think I got one of these before, but the sponge on it broke. But I know a few YouTubers who've recommended this, so give it another little go. Are you looking for bum roll? No. For our bums? I'm looking at this thing. For a nice scent? Oh no, I bought incense. Oh yeah. We get most of our meals in the canteen. This is just like extra snack. Go and do a gym. Yeah. Dun Today has been a bit of a a lot of a shitty mental health day and I wasn't gonna vlog about it. I noticed myself consciously making the decision to remove how I'm feeling from the vlog and I got really pissed off at myself and I started crying because I don't because the whole point of this is to not overly edit myself. Before I get going, this is how shitly I pack my clothes away and that is also my mess. I have no makeup on. I am in my bikini and uh, there are some squadgy bits. Here's more squadge. Um, these are not as high as they once were. Those are some, some of my stretch marks. And there you can quite clearly see some of my acne scars as well. Last night I was researching a YouTube video that I really wanted to make about myths and lies about fitness that I see all over Instagram all the time and that just really pissed me off and as I was researching and just making a list really of all of the things I wanted to focus on in the video I saw some, something triggered this mindset off and when I used to struggle really badly with body dysmorphia it was actually when I was in the best shape of my life after losing a ton of weight. For those of you who don't know, I used to be 180 pounds, so I was borderline obese for my height, and um, I lost a lot of weight and I got really fit, and then I developed eating disorders after that, and it was around then that I used to struggle really badly with my self-image and perceived flaws, like things that I thought that everyone was focusing in on when they spoke to me and um, the problem with body dysmorphia um, and I have made videos about this before and it, there's a big section on it in my book um, sorry if this is just a big bomb of information on you guys about me but um, I know some of you aren't aware that I struggle with this um, not very often I'll admit nowadays it's it's rare that I'll have a day where I'm just kind of crying and I'm feeling like crap but yeah it got triggered and it's like you start seeing yourself as this monster alien thing. Um, this disgust, you, you use all these awful words to describe yourself in your own head. The weird thing is logically, I know the things that I think are so wrong about myself sometimes are things that most people have like stretch marks and spots and scars and little flabby bits and you know, there's nothing wrong with these things. I actually even find these things very beautiful on other people. Um, and often I find them very beautiful on myself. It's just weird that my brain can switch like so quickly. Human nature means we compare ourselves to others. And you know, if I look down at myself and I see anything other than <laughs> a, a lovely perfect Instagram body, my brain's instant reaction to that is, ooh, you need to change, you're not good enough. And then me though, I am stronger than that body dysmorphic thought i can override that thought on a normal day i can override that so easily a big shift in my thinking that helped a few years ago was when i started focusing on looking after myself and caring for my body um through food and exercise rather than trying to perfect imperfections that i perceived um I've never had any surgery, I've never had any fillers, I've never had anything like that done. I told you guys I may be getting microneedling done to um, see if it helps with my acne scars, but um, yeah, even that and like makeup and um, certain angles and lighting and filters and, and all, all of this stuff, um, I think there is a healthy balance with it, but when it tips over and you notice yourself focusing on 
flaws when it's eating into your day and making you unproductive and making you really upset and making you flinch away from people and stuff like that um not good so i reminded myself of all of the good work i did in therapy years ago and um i decided to stick my finger up at my brain and i just went out to my boyfriend's campus pool in this here bikini um and there was a bunch of people there and i went out i was wearing this big moo moo looking t-shirt and i just whipped it off and i lay there and guess what the world didn't implode nobody gave a shit about any of the little silly things that i noticed about myself like i was lying in bed this morning feeling disgusting and my boyfriend was like <laughs> checking out my bum and he was kept calling me beautiful and it's just it's perception how you feel about how you look is much more important than how you look that is partially why I do love to look after my parents most of the time. Like I am into makeup. I love all that kind of stuff. I love getting all dressed up and it, it makes me feel amazing. Um, but it is important to be able to feel good about yourself when you're just in your rawest, nakedest form. When you're like just out of the shower, wet hair, no makeup, bollock naked. Um, it's really important to be kind to that person and have positive self-talk regularly um i think that's how i mostly get through and deal with this and um, this is like it's why it doesn't rule my entire life you know what i mean and i have days where i feel amazing about myself and i think it's because i do that um i'm usually quite um kind to to me so uh i just yeah i wanted to share that because i just felt like it seemed like it would have been disingenuous if i just didn't vlog this this is part of my month and today was really shit. It's 5 p.m. and I've not done very much. <laughs> so now I'm gonna write because writing gets me out of my head and into the story. I'm really enjoying writing my book. Um, I know I've not included many writing segments in these vlogs lately. It's just because it's very, it's literally just me sitting there at my laptop thinking. There's a whole lot of me kind of doing this. Not with, not with this, but just like pondering staring at the ceiling um so much of writing is me trying to formulate a thought before i can describe it on the page if that makes sense but yeah i'm gonna do that and i'm gonna have a shower and i'm gonna get ready to go and have a nice meal date with the love of my life i've gotten myself ready i'm feeling so much better and i'm just massaging some dry shampoo into my head dry shampoo is the hero we all need it saves my life so much i feel a million times better than i did this morning it's just mad what a day you can do what have I dreamed? <laughs> we're searching for food and we were hoping to get the merry-go-round moving it's never <laughs> You want to go on it? We can go on it after we get numbs. I'm going to die. They won't let us on it. It's Why? children only. We break it. That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> The power's gone in our restaurant. This is so weird. Like, I just want the vegetarian <laughs> that he is up. Hey! current situation is we're at the Golden Arches and I just got myself an iced coffee. We've come back to Seville which is my favourite part of Spain, my favourite place to visit in Spain ever. This is where Thomas told me he loved me and we've come for a little break away because he has some days off. Yeah we're staying in our favourite hotel here and we're just gonna have a nice relaxing couple of days. I really wanted to write on the train and there was this couple sitting opposite us and they didn't look very happy so I just didn't really want to uh, oh here he comes here he comes to wreck the day I'm happy <laughs> are you happy? Uh, yes yeah happy boy let's go it's literally just so gorgeous though they always greet us with champagne every time we come and um, they have a little little chandelier it's just such a lovely, lovely establishment. <laughs> I had myself a little change because my dress was covered in creases. And there's a woman and some babies. Catherine Draconis. <laughs> Stop saying Harry Potter references. 
and we're going to have a wander and see Seville and get some din. Spain. I'm so obsessed with this wall and this building. Like this is the entrance into the gardens. The um the Al Al is it Alcazar? Uh, Alcazar? Yeah. The real Alcazar. Yeah. I'm too white for this sun. I can't even open my eyes. <laughs> Why can't I get a tan? I've been, I've been over in Spain so much and I'm still, well, factor 50 ladies and boys, whoever, and, and whoever's watching. This is the nicest mojito I've ever had. Mojito. 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 Five word review. Uh, Five word review of this mojito. Refreshing. Minty. Limey. Green. Misty. Misty. Refreshing. <laughs> They're blowing mist because it's so hot. I'm quite a bit drunker. I've had olives. I have a G and T. Um, we've we've been discussing the institution of marriage along with um, alcoholism, which I don't have. Question, how do you feel about marriage in like, I know marriage isn't always a religious thing, but marriage in religious buildings and whatnot. Because um, like I'm not religious, I feel like I'm a spiritual person, but I don't know. I like going to weddings. As I, I like, I filmed it at a wedding recently, and I was getting comments from some viewers who were saying all sorts of um, distasteful things about marriage. And I was, I don't know. It's like a labyrinth. The labyrinth, the knockers. Do you not know what I mean? Do you know what's a labyrinth? Of course, I have. You haven't. I'm making you watch that tomorrow, you know that? Or watch the Labyrinth. Can't believe you haven't seen Labyrinth, Thomas. <laughs> Never come back. This is the good shit, my friends. Every time we come here, we eat our din here and we leave very happy people. <laughs> Round one is a goat's cheese salad with a crispy goat's cheese. I ordered pasta and, and a pizza. pizza. <laughs> because I'm feeding them games. Also, I'm treating myself. Also, I also, have no self control. No, also, <laughs> you're worth it. <laughs> He's worth it. <laughs> More drunk again the, the wine we have risotto with lemon and things we have the world's most delicious pasta that I'm really sad I can't eat oh my god they do stop stop it's course number three what's happening I am up high we probably should say goodbye now because we don't really know where we're even going. <laughs> Parkour. I fell. I fell. Do you know the way I always run away in vlogs? Well, I only thought she'd copy me and be really funny and then she fell in her hole. <laughs> and we're just pissing ourselves in the back of a taxi now trying to find any nightclub in Seville. <laughs> Where's the club? And then we'll leave you here on the image of me falling on my face and I scuffed my elbow. And I you scuffed your elbow on your scuffed knee. Scuffed my knee. You had a little cry. Um, yeah, I had a little cry and now we're going to have a little dance. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so last night we ended on our way to the club. We wanted to have a little dance. Um, they wouldn't let us in because of the way we were dressed probably. Um, and then I got really mad. Yeah, you got real mad. I got really mad. I just wanted to dance. Then I was in a bit of a mood. And yeah. then I went and passed out. And um, today I'm absolutely dying and very much regretting my decision to have a bit of a taste of the pizza. 
Fine. I feel fine. I feel great. Yeah, you do. I'm. I look like I'm nine months pregnant, but I'm not. Baby. Um, I haven't had gluten in so long, and that's given me that. Like, it was a lesson, though. Like, I'm not gonna do that again. That really, like. That was a kick up the arse. That made me realise at least though that's definitely one of the... It's that and cheese and alcohol. It was a bad combination who... I did the ooh thing, didn't I, on camera? <laughs> you did ooh. I did ooh. Stop tapping my chinny chin chin. Your chin ooh. Such a princess. Oh yeah, I've got a fringe again. I feel so, <laughs> feel so like emo. Like Trump's hair. <laughs> I'm, I'm an emo again. Mm. Um, but um, I'm probably gonna end this vlog now because if I keep vlogging this week, it's gonna be a series of uh, time lapses of me writing videos and editing. And I haven't done any vlogging in the gym, baby. I'll probably have to do that and add that in at some other point. You come to the gym tonight? The gym tonight? Yeah. I think I'd rather die. <laughs> so cool. Right on. Right on. Yeah, I'm in a band. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, we're called the the Dead Cats. No, we're called Gang. We're called Black Philip. This is Black Philip from the movie The Witch. <laughs> no, it's not. That's our band name. No, I thought we said our band name would be Blind Faith. Yeah, I'm in a band called Blind, Blind Faith. Faith. We're pretty, we're pretty new to the scene. You probably haven't heard of us, but uh, yeah, we're like the best. Yeah, we've got a, we've got a song called Black Philip. Yeah. <laughs> we need to go. Yeah, I want to get my Dan. And this is a, it's a lot of lies. See, <laughs> I don't have hair.